There's a there's a shot of the Zakem Bridge here in Boston, Massachusetts, where the big three is all going down. Four games down, two games to go. We got the Ball Hogs versus the Bivouacs. Let's take a look at some of the standings. Ball Hogs three and two. Look at the log jam on the left for the four and two teams. Ball Hogs looking to join in with that. And the Bivouacs are looking to starve off elimination another week. I'm Brian Scalabrini alongside Lady Magic, Nancy Lieberman. And Nancy, Ball Hogs are playing great basketball. What do you think is, is driving is the driving force behind that? Well, there's some guy by the name of Barbosa and, and Jody Meeks, and those are proven basketball NBA guys. They know how to play the game and where to find each other. They're actually really good in transition when you miss. Yeah, they move the ball extremely well, and part of that has to do with the fact that the two guys that Nancy just named never stop moving. Jody Meeks is really shooting the ball well. I mean, the improvement from last year to this year has been huge for them. And you can see right there, the field goal percentage, the assist, he's been playing at a big time level. And Gerald Green is a guy that can absolutely score it. Uh, he's pretty unbelievable what he can do with the basketball, him. You know, you, you get your brother on your team. You know what your bro, you know, you know Garland can do. This is a very, very good basketball team. We thought we would see them towards the top as well, but as we found out in this league, any day, any night, you can be beat if you're not ready to compete. Yeah, the fine line between getting a, a three-point win and a ten-point loss in this league. There's Rick Barry, the Hall of Famer. Six seasons as a ball hog coach, and I'm sure he's happy that I'm not there anymore. <laughs> Wait, you were his assistant coach, NGM. <laughs> well, every game we lost, he blamed me, so. <laughs> wait, wait, did, I, does Brad kidding. Stevens, <laughs> does he blame you too? No, no, Wait, Brad. did you trade Marcus Smart? <laughs> no, some people think that, though. I'd be happy about that. All right, that. let's take a, take a look at the rules for the big three. First to 50, halftime is at 25, there's no game clock. So you got a 14 second shot clock, free throws, one shot, counts as the point value. And don't forget, it's a four point shot, which really comes into play late in games, because you do got to go out and guard guys late in the game. You don't want to give up a game winner from that deep. Hey, Len Rice took the first shot of our game the other day from four, and I went, did, did I <laughs> did I draw that up? You, but he's such a incredible player, Len Rice Jr. You, you let some guys just do what they do because they just have incredible acumen. Yeah, we, we have you on camera saying no, 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 yes. Don't, one say, time. don't tell me that, <laughs> please. Take a look. Look at the ball hogs. I mean, a lot of years, a lot of average years, below average years. Last year they got hit with the injury bug with Barbosa, but right now they win tonight. There's this log jam of four or two teams, and, and, and they can be one of those teams. You know, the pig looks a little angry right there. That's good. All right? Some snorting coming yeah. out of his mouth. But, you know, what? What? Um, ever since you left, they brought in uh, Dewan Summers, who yep. lives in Dallas. He trains a lot with all the guys that live there. And Jeff Ayers is big, strong, yep. powerful. Yeah, the best thing I could have done for the ball hogs was quit. <laughs> <laughs> Retire, not quit. But my son bought a ball hog shirt, and I was on the shirt still. I don't know how that worked. much fun to watch guys understand how to curl, how to cut, keep your feet moving. It's hard to guard people in motion. The Cheryl Green for the jump stop. Oh, he shoots a little too strong. Here's that Barbosa finish. See where he's coming from right there. That's kind of a, a little deception play, but he loves to go right and turn the corner. And if you get on his hip, you're done. You know what's great during the NBA season? He goes out there with the Sacramento Kings. He's an assistant coach there. And he guards the guys tough. Like he is out there guarding Sabonis on the block. It is tough. I don't know what happened there with Barbosa. Just turned it over. It cost him two points. But isn't that what Jared Jack did? You know, he was with Trilogy. And he's the guy who's going against, you know, Kevin Durant in practice every day. Teams want this. Track down that offense rebound. See how quick they are on transition. Yep. They never stop. Barbosa short. Some teams dribble out to three, some teams pass it out. Short with it. Pass. Look at Meeks. Not stop moving. Swing, swing. Bucket. It's the version of a fast break in the big three. Yes, it is. Here's Brewer. Looking to get downhill. Stops and pops. No. Clears. And again, there's something to be said for the space.
casing that they have. The Brewer. Gerald Green rises up. Shot so pretty, but it missed. Brewer with the board. Goes up. There he goes. The Brazilian Blur, Sacramento Kings coach, 21 points in 2021. But 2022 got injured, and I saw him working out with players like four months later. It's unbelievable. Well, it was crazy because when he got hurt in Dallas, we thought, oh, my God, he tore his Achilles. We, everybody was, he's so well-liked in the league that we were all just like, are you going to yeah. be okay? Are you gonna, we're praying for you. We're hoping you're okay. I was shocked when I saw him out there playing. I mean, it was like four months ago. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, these guys, again, come back in the league. Jody's in better shape. Barboza's is in better shape. They understand the league. Oh, a couple miss mental like, mishaps right here. It cost him a few points. Well, that's what that cutting does to you. If, you, if you're ball staring, you're, it's an automatic. Yeah. It's a back cut. So watch here. You're seeing from the weak side. Look at... The eyes, Barboza is staring at the ball, even though his head was on a swivel. That's an automatic back cut. Brewer for three. It's gonna be an air ball. When the when the ball hogs are executing and moving and Meeks is making shots, they're as good as any team in the big three. Yeah, they're very, very difficult to guard. You gotta try to send them to their you know, right side. And remember, so two teams this week, and it looks like it's going to be three-headed monsters and aliens. But the following week, it's the same thing. Two more teams will go home after Charlotte as Summers hits the cup fadeaway. You know, Dewan Summers, and I'll answer your question in a minute, but he was in Dallas working out with TJ and a bunch of the guys the whole time last year. And then he hurt his knee, rehab, went overseas, came back and you can just see he's a different player. This is a great pickup by them. He's in great shape as well. Yes. 10-4, Vivwax, there's Meeks on that curl, a little left-handed layup. You can't guard the curl, there's no weak side help. You put a shooter on the side in the corner so you can't leave the shooter and then it's on Meeks to make the play. Lord, he missed it. Mix gets it. He clears it. You gotta dump that. He was way above the rim on that. Here's Barbosa. Crossover behind the back finish. Oh, that was sweet. I'm sorry, was that a blur? That was Did you call him the blur? That was a blur. When somebody like that can still, they have breaks, right? With the, at the end of the car uh, your career, you lose your breaks. You can't stop. And he can not only change direction, but change pace. Carlin Green goes with a little bit of muscle, and that'll that'll put us into a break. Carlin Green, little pick and roll, goes up strong, finishes. Oh, he's got to get their defense together, or Bivouac's going to take home a win.
12-8. Playing pretty good basketball right now as Rick Barry's pleading with his team. This is what we got to do. We're going to try to talk to him. Give it one chance. Wait, I thought he was telling him he was going on a fishing trip. Well, he fishes and plays pickleball. I know. He is obsessed, and he's always good at whatever he does. All right. We're going to try to get that IFB in. And it is in. Coach Barry, you there? Let's go ahead and push that interior. Rick, can you hear us? Coach Bear, you hear us? Let's go! The Boggs came out, whatever Rick Barry drew up. Good play, knocked down a three. Cut the lead to one. Well, when you have two guys like Barboza and Meeks and you put your shooter in the corner, everybody's helping. DeWan just has to step into his shot. Carlin Green inside. No. Barbosa up top, taking a baseline. Oh, another counter move. Spoil you lay up. Come on. Yeah, it's like, man, you did that to me in the NBA for about 10 years. Don't do this to me in the big three. <laughs> it is so hard to counter your dribble and your body and have the control to do all that. Well, he stays so low and he comes at you. Garland Green with the miss. Summer's on the, on the board. It's going to be bivouac ball. Green inside, Garland Green. Oh, oh he tipped it in. in. Don't you just love the multiple efforts? Yes, I do. It's yes, it's a skill that no one talks about. It is. Yes. Keeping the ball alive. Moses, Moses Malone used to do that. Rodman used to do that on rebounding. Yeah, and, and it's really tough to play. There's someone yeah, that one drops as well. Great addition to their team. You know what's really cool about him? He'll be at camp in Dallas next week, my basketball camp, starting tomorrow, and he'll speak to the kids again. And his kids are in camp. And it's great to see a daddy with his kids. Green with a put back. Man, you know, there's just some guys that love hoop. You know, like, gonna be around it no matter what. Well, there's guys in this league, Justin Depp, the young guys yep. who are still playing. You know, Patino Mobley is still out there with kids all day long. Oh, Barbosa with a push through dribble gets to the other side of the rim. All right, first of all, I love his name, Leandro yeah. Barbosa. Well, you I'm naming my next kid that. I told TJ, I I'm training him for Barbosa to be named later. <laughs> uh, middle name blur. <laughs> oh, Gerald Green. Oh, this is a physical game today. Garland Green, one on the clock. No. Hey! Brewer keeps it alive. Barbosa gets it. This game is crazy right now. Goes to Summer. What are we watching? This is great big three action right here. The great block. You can see you don't box him out. And all of a sudden, Garland comes in. He has unbelievable control of the basketball and his body. It's got a timeout by Bivouac. They need to regroup. So I was in Boston when Gerald Green was here. But we're going to talk. This is wow. Gerald, Gerald Green and Garland Green. Growing up playing hoop every day at the house. But just to see them as, as sweet little boys that love this game to be able to play with your, your bro is unbelievable. And yeah, when Garland Green signed, a lot of people look sideways at it, but Garland Green's a player. So is Gerald Green. Oh, absolutely. To be able to coach your kid, I'm sure people look to TJ like mom's giving him a payday. TJ can play. TJ can play. And, and these guys can play, and who cares what your lineage is as long as you know, he would never take his brother if, if he couldn't breathe, Correct. if he couldn't play. Correct. I would never take TJ yeah. if he couldn't play. I, we, that happens. We we found out TJ could play <laughs> three possessions. <laughs> He's one of the hardest playing guys in this league. Well, they're young guys. Some of them young legs. Yeah. You know, they still have that little pop. 
Brewer, high glass. Johnson, but both in the corner. He is dangerous out of this corner. Okay, there were three inches on the baseline. Remember when Isaiah Thomas used to just be able to do that? And Barboza gets it, and he looks you off. See, he's just looking green off, and he's attacking that front foot. And if you can't drop it, you're going to foul him. I, I love how he plays in straight lines. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, if you're a kid and you see all these guys on Instagram dribbling, you should watch a lot of Barbosa. Yeah, you know what? I bet uh, Coach Brown is watching and saying, hey, Vanja. Exactly. You know, you could, you could play still in this league. Three years ago, he's guarding Steph Curry. So, or yeah, two years yeah. ago, he's guarding Steph Curry. Well, Jerry Jack can still play. Exactly. There's, you know, you just kind of feel like, okay, I'm done. This is it. Cut. Summers. Sticks it. Hey, the give and go is still alive. It, right? Who started it? It probably before John Wooden. Then it went to Scalabrini. <laughs> then it I, went I to Lieberman. Of, I did a lot of give and go. And, and it's still here. You can't guard the give and go. That's a great cut by Barbosa to open up Summers. Gerald Green inside blew another layup. This is just great stuff right here. Make that pass, swing, swing, the hockey assists. And uh, Dwan Summers, this is the best he shot the ball this season. Yeah, he looks good right now. And you've been working hard on it. Bivouac's really liberal with their timeouts here. Good Gerald Green probably needs a breather. No, <laughs> no Gary Payton to motivate these guys to say play through it. Yeah, but I think, you know, when you have somebody you know, like the Green Brothers, you have Brewer, you got NBA guys. Mm -hmm. You know, they, although you need your coaches, they know what to say and who they feel is playing well. All right, going to the monitor here. Yeah, I mean, that's gotta go off Garland Green, right? Yeah, uh, from this angle, it looked like that. You know what I love about this league? Yeah, it, it, it looks like it went off um, Garland Green's hand. What, what Ice Cube has done with this league, he's given people like, you know, Lisa Leslie, myself, the opportunity not only to coach in this league, but to have equality and pay. And now you have all these female officials who are getting this opportunity. And that's how you, you do things that are actionary. You don't talk about having a woman in the league. You actually hire somebody, and then you set them up for success, and that's what Ice Cube has done. Let's take a look at this play again. Gerald Green's going up. Why they're looking at this? That was the play before, wasn't that? When the first. You you weren't here the first year, were you? No, I wasn't, but I was sitting at home, and Mick Barry called me, and he goes, Nancy, um, there's this thing called the Big Three, and I was in Dallas. He says, why don't you come to the game tomorrow? I've got a ticket for you and TJ, and I was like, okay. TJ couldn't go, so I went, and he was better yet. Don't just come to the game. Sit on the bench and be my assistant. And I'm like, is that allowable? Yeah. I couldn't believe the smoke and the mirrors, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I came out. I met Cube for the first time. You want to do this. And we shook hands, and I met, you know, Miss Kim and everybody. And then the next year, Cube asked me when I left the NBA, because my mom got sick, and he asked me, he goes, I'm sitting in a room here, and everybody looks like me. And, we, you know, I'm a man of equality and culture. Yo, 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 yo. Here's Barbosa, size advantage. 
Now Hill elevates. It's a physical game today. Logan has such great footwork, even right there. Yeah, defensively. Brewer, six on the clock. He's got to go. Oh, that's Man, good, good idea by Brewer. Right here, you know, you're trying to force him to middle. That's the only help you might have. And, but he got a little bit too much of his, his body chest. Oh, this is going to be a good one. They'll bring the fire. They're going to play for it. Hey, this is like Crawford and Spence from last night. Yeah. Two guys that know each other well. It's going to be players. interesting the way Brewer adapts, tries to go out. He doesn't have a size advantage or a strength advantage. Oh, that's the move. He knew exactly what he was going to do. That, kids, watch this. Rerun re re it, kids. He drove him to a spot and stepped through. Look how close he was to elbowing. Oh, man, what a move. Barbosa was going to pick up a charge on that, but that was a great play by, by Brewer. Uh, All really sloppy today. We're so used to seeing them just fly around. The ball flies around. Very difficult to guard. Today, just a little bit different. Yet still have a 23-18 lead. Garland Green, pull up jumper. In and out. Barbosa rebound. Boy, they've missed such open shots. Uh, good luck. High, low, Big East basketball in and out. Johnson will go to the line. Look at this beautiful pass to seal underneath, carving out your space, and just making the perfect pass. We're going to run this all over again. You know, it's starting to make me think nobody's ever had tacos. Okay? Because or everyone's everybody's hungry. I hit it sometimes just to hit it because I love the noise, I love the fire. So you gotta have his foot, his foot's on the line and he should the official should not have allowed him to do that. Johnson up, took his time. That's how you gotta play. Bring the fire one on one. You gotta get to a spot and take your time. See, I don't think this should have been allowed. You're not allowed to start. You have to start with your foot between the three-point line and the top of the foul line. But is a shimmy shake allowed? The shimmy shake is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> All right, that'll put us at the half. Ball hogs, 25. Bivouacs, 18. And the Ball Hawks be one of the many teams pushing the envelope and getting up to four and two. Find out next. Ballhawks 25, Bipwax 18. Nancy Rick Berry really has his team playing good basketball right now. 
They're a very, very difficult team to slow down. They've been a little sloppy, but still have the lead. Well, a sloppy is going to happen, you know, every now and again during the course of a game. But Rick Barry has some veteran NBA players in Meeks and Barboza. And now when Dewan Summers is stepping into his threes, because he's usually on the offside and he's a beneficiary of everybody collapsing and he gets the open look. Well, we, they're we got, playing well. Yeah, we got a chance to listen to Rick Barry in the huddle. Take a listen. Big game. Hey, just, hey, Energy play up. our game and your game, okay? We got them. Yep. So. Together. One, two, three. Together. Together. Make sure you keep ball man relationship. That's what's hurt us. We lost sight of it. They got three easy baskets off of that, okay? So we have has, we haven't even played close to our kind of basketball. And we're still there. All right? Couldn't agree more. I don't think they played good basketball yet. They got a seven-point lead right now, and I think you're right. Summers has made some time, timely shots this half to give them that lead. Well, that's the, the beauty of these young guys. They go home, they work on their game right here. He sees that that ball's coming to him. I have to be ready to unload the shot. And he has been a beneficiary of all the movement of Barbosa, all the movement of, of Jody Meek. He's playing really confident right now. It was the number one pick in the big three draft. And you can see it's definitely paying off for them. Well, he has to feel good about that, that, you know, he he was wanted at such a high level and you know he's big he's strong he's six six foot eight he can rebound look at his stat line right there that's pretty impressive so they were bringing him off the bench today he gets the start barbosa has been limited in minutes jody meeks usually plays the whole game jody meeks sat a lot in that first half it'll be interesting to see how long he goes with the rest of barbosa off it's summers meeks and johnson for the ball hogs Green, Green, and Brewer for Big Wax. Take a look at the stats. Nine, nine for 30 for Big Wax. 0 for 7 from 3. They're doing a good job on the boards, but the field goals, making threes, making shots, has been the difference for the Ball Hawks. It would be a, a, really would be a different game if they could just knock down their open shots, and they just have not been uh, in rhythm, either of the Garlands. Up the Garlands. <laughs> uh. yeah, Gerald Green is one of those guys, when he gets hot, I mean, he can really dominate a game, but he just hasn't got it going this game. Johnson up top. Meek slipped out. Summers has the ISO on the wing. Green gets it for three. It only takes one. He made a free throw. Got to watch out. Uh, it's so important for, you know, for Garland Green and, and for his brother to be able to just have confidence. Summer's playing big time ball right now. Making timely shots for the ball hogs. If you're the star player like Gerald Green is right now, you have got to take over this game. That's the least you could do for your team. Jody Meeks picks that up. Summer's been the hot hand. Hard drive to the left. Gets rid of it. Johnson kicks it out. Meeks, five on the clock. Johnson for three. Summers runs it down. That's a tough save. Uh, that, that is their day in a snapshot. You have got to make this play. I mean, this is not the out, the, you know, the, the three-point shot we're talking about. Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to finish that. And, you know, a lot of that is concentration and focus. I couldn't believe he missed that. This guy's the guy that can look down on the rim. Skywalker is yeah. such a great player. All right, ball hogs ball. Barbosa is back in the game. The yo yo dribbles a crossover right to left. You really have to play arms distance from Barbosa because he wants to drive right there. And there's no reason to reach. All you have to do is, is, is dance with him, slide left, slide right. Keep him between you and the basket. Such a smart play by Johnson. On that pin down, everyone's worried about Jody Meeks. Johnson goes right to the front of the rim and cleans up the glass. 
Well, definitely the extra effort is going to the ball hogs right now. Uh, they're getting the 50-50 balls. They look like they are just enjoying themselves and working together. Meeks turns a corner. Meeks, Meeks has been hot all season. A little cooled off today, but you never know when he's going to get it going. Green backing down Meeks. Elevates. Back rim. Oh, right to Brewer for three. Short. There's that transition Nancy was talking about. You know, Green was trying to tell Brewer, come up, come up. I don't know if Brewer's too tired, but he never left the corner. Meeks on the drive. No rim. They just don't look like they're in sync, Bivouac, right now. Well, they don't move nearly as much as the Ball Hawks. They're more of an isolation team. Yeah, but they're, you know, they're still young, and they still have a, a lot in the tank. Well, as you know, like, if you don't play that way ever, which you find yourself in a lot of pickup games where no one moves, it's hard to come out here and all of a sudden start chasing guys around like Jody Meeks and Leandro Barbosa. It's just it's something you're not accustomed to. I remember the first time I played the Phoenix Suns with Nash and Barbosa. I could not believe it. And that's what the NBA is now, the pace that they played at. I just, like, it took three quarters for you to get adjusted to it. Well, that was with D'Antoni and then mm -hmm. with uh, Alvin Gentry, and it was, what, seven seconds or less? Yeah, they were fast. Just take the shot. We're, we're giving you the green light to take the shot. Great defensive play by Meeks, and then finishes right on the turnover. Green kicks it out. Gerald Green spins, fades, drops it. He's got to be aggressive. Well, you said it. The key to this game is one team is playing with movement, passing, cutting, and, and wearing out the defense, and one team is just going one-on-one, -on -one, which is Pivot. Barbosa, seven on the clock. Oh, there's a cut. Johnson, oh, great block. That's a great block by Brewer. Nice play by the ball hogs, but you got to finish. Yeah, that, I mean, th th they're still in this game. You know, it's only a yeah. five-point game. Oh, there's a cut by Meeks. Finishes. Can't get caught watching the ball. Automatic in this league. If somebody is looking at the ball, if you can get four eyeballs on the ball, you just back cut. Brewer takes a 15-footer, hanging around. Bivouac's only down by five, 36-31. Barbosa up top. Gets the screen. Side to Johnson. Johnson with the back down. Fades. One on the clock. No. Brewer clears it. Brewer looking to attack. Elevates. It's a friendly bounce. Well, the, the, the word was friendly. It's again, it's one on one basketball, and you're you're not moving anybody. It, and the ball hogs are not only moving the ball, but they're moving the defense. Nice block by Garland Green. Oh, that's a backbreaker right there as Johnson kicks it out to Jody Meeks. Jody Meeks is so good. I mean, he's he's a professional scorer. Watch this. The ball gets blocked, it gets kicked out, his feet are set, and he says, this is what I do.
They love it. So. to the big three by Jody Meeks. Ball hogs up 39-33. Take a look at some of the MVPs, but you can make an argument for every player that will be born to by the end of the night to be an in, in, on every there's every team would have one guy that's an MVP candidate. Uh, absolutely. Now I understand, you know, Dante Green in in my opinion is playing at an MVP level. You know, I give Ryan Carter just a lot of, of respect for what he's done coming into this league, but you are playing with Joe Johnson. No question. You can say Joe Johnson. You could go to you guys. I mean, I think the last four weeks, Royce White has been Royce, amazing. Yes, he has. And if he didn't get hurt today, um, who knows? Yeah. I, I don't know what you and Catino or what or maybe him whatever the change that happened for him I think he's playing the best basketball and he's played in the big three he's uh he's pretty unstoppable and he's found his rhythm he came in you know he was about 275 last year this year he came in around 260 he's oh! oh my word Johnson with the throwdown wow Great pass from Barbosa. Oh, Meeks tracks that down. That's a big turnaround right there to make it 43-35. Take a look at this, Nancy. Yeah, this is just so beautiful. But to be able to go up in the air, catch it with one hand, finish on the rim. But look at that beautiful pass. Mm. Look at that. That's the dunk of the day. However you want to label it, monster energy, yeah, whatever you want to say, that's the play of the day. And Corey Brew is not going to be happy because we've already showed it four times from three different <laughs> angles. They caught. He's talked got about, family watching. Yeah, we talked about the body bag. <laughs> that's tough. That is tough. Nice pass by Barbosa, showing you the versatility and great finish for Johnson. They have Summers playing well, Barbosa playing well. Johnson, Jody Meeks playing well. The good ball hawks team. Yeah, they're very special this year. And they're very focused on what they want to do. And it's good to see Rick Barry happy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you're would, sitting with I would winning. agree with that. I don't think I know a happy Rick Barry. I would agree with you on that. Look at how happy he is right now. If you know what he just told the guy, you guys, Scalabrini could have never made that play. <laughs> That is so funny. You know, I think sometimes you come out and you need a good shot and you take a bad shot. Man, a lot of shots going in and out for Bivouac. Yeah. Look at Johnson. It's been a, oh, an offensive foul. Huh. Look at now. Rick Perry's not happy. Camera him up. Come Why on, guys. Why is he looking at you? <laughs> <laughs> but this is real physical right here. You get the rebound. Of course, you know, you get the kick out. You know what? Uh, wouldn't have counted know. anyways. He never cleared. Wouldn't have counted anyways. Yeah, so. that's true. But no I big mean, deal. as physical as this league is. Look, look at the defense by Barbosa. Incredible. Unbelievable. Green. Here's Brewer. Corner three. Big shot. Came up short. With Garland Green right there. That's a big rebound right there. It is. It Huge. is. All the momentum is in the ball hawk's favor. Look at this action right here off the rebound. You get the shot, you know, you rebound it, you get yourself in the middle on the floor, and now you're, you're back in the game again. So many times in the big three, when you have dribble penetration and you kick it out, you're in great position to get an offensive rebound. That's Absolutely. why it's important to attack the paint. Absolutely. All right, 43-38. Pivlak just doing enough to hang around here. Barbosa gets a high screen to roll. Bivouac switches, looking inside. Johnson goes up strong. Nice spin it. Oh, rolls out. I think that's just a tough matchup.
for either green right here. He's just sizing you up. He's just crab dribbling. And then he uses his counter move. This is where I think, you know, Ryan Hollins could, you know, get a couple minutes and just bang on Coach Ryan Hollins. Why would Ryan Hollins not want to play in this game? I would want to play if I'm him because it, it would be a great matchup on Johnson. Correct. I, I think Ryan has played. Like, he plays 10 minutes. I, there you talk about that thing with his foot is inside the line. Yeah, I'm surprised that she's letting that happen. I mean, they, they tell us every game you cannot put your foot. You have to be in the white. And I guess the referees, uh, I guess they're not paying attention to it. Here's Johnson, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he's oh. Mismatch, get into the body of the defender. Don't just settle. Yeah, I'm with you. I think Ryan Holland should play in this game. He's got a great presence in the paint. All right, Bivouac. Down seven. This is a huge possession. Gerald Green pulls up. Finally sticks it. Didn't execute, but he got a foul on the Brewer. And that's going to put... that bonus here? Yeah, that's yeah. six fouls. So Meeks will shoot two off, off of this. Or shoot one for two and we'll get the ball back if he makes it. He has been a force today. Charlie Green, deep three. Gets his own rebound, puts it in. Never can, you can never question Garland Green's hustle. His second effort, he brings that every day. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not for... for they're not playing hard. They're just... They're just playing against a team that's playing really, really well. Jody Meeks takes that wide open three pass from Barbosa. And the Ball Hogs, they're forward to joining the company of the Big Three Elite. Take a look at this play. It's a simple back screen for Meeks. It's a little flare screen, the breakdown defensively, and Jody Meeks just finishes this thing off. Ball Hogs having fun right now, and that is what Jody Meeks does. Very impressive win by them right now. Dewan Summers, a heck of a game. No question. T timely shots by Summers allow them to have the lead at halftime. Jody Meeks closes it out. Ball Hogs playing good basketball, as good as they ever have. And they're 4-2. Like I said, with the company, the elite company of the big three.